Hi everyone, Ryan here with Fight Game Analysis, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming fight between Alexi Olenek and Chris Dawkins. If you've been enjoying the content, please go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate your support. All right, so we got a fight coming up here, heavyweight division, Alexi Olenek versus Chris Dawkins. This to me is kind of a classic fight in a lot of ways. Not, not truly like an old school classic fight, but the thing is I think about Olenek as a specialist. And that's really when you think about the old school, the history of the UFC, it all started out with specialists. You know, back before the UFC was was ever anything that anybody knew about in America, when it started in the garage in Brazil, it was the idea of whose martial arts was better. So you had a Brazilian jiu-jitsu instructor, you had a karate instructor, you had a, you know, a Aikido instructor, a Hapkido, whatever it was. All of these people came who thought that their individual martial art was the best, and they came and they tested it in this no rules, no holds bar type arena. And from there, once, you know, uh, one of the Gracies, I forget which one, he ended up hooking up with a promoter and, you know, history was made into how the UFC started. The reason I say all that is because it began with the idea of specialists. All the way up to UFC 1, you had Hoist Gracie who won it, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. When I think of Olenek, that's what I think of him as. He's a specialist. His thing is grappling all day long. When you see him in there striking, throwing punches, it's ugly. It is not a pretty sight watching this dude get in there and throw strikes. You know, he tries to kind of dig with the right hand with his shovel punch. He'll try to dirty box at distance. It's, you know, it's, it's ugly. He'll try to hook you behind the head and things. You know, every now and then he'll get in there, he'll land some good shots and they're heavy, right? Because he's a big guy, so he throws them, but it's not really what he wants to do. He's not going to get in there and, and outstrike anybody for 15 minutes or five minutes for that matter or whatever. And you look at his past record. When the fight ends up being a striking match, he doesn't end up doing very well. Think about guys like Walt Harris who come out there and smoke. He always wants to turn it into a grappling affair. Even when it's standing, he's looking to set up some kind of choke. He's famous for that Ezekiel choke. He's got the most finishes using it in UFC. And then on the other side, we've got Chris Dawkins. We've only seen him two fights in the UFC. Both times we've seen him striking, man, his hands are smooth, they are quick. He knows how to throw combinations really well. He's shown power in both hands. I love the way he gets off with the right hand, but yet both fights we've seen him do damage with the left hook, really accurate with it. Even on the inside, typically for a big guy, you don't see him able to do good work on the inside, but in his first fight against Parker Porter, he was in there inside the clinch. You saw him do good work with the right hand, both over the top and coming up underneath. He's done really good with the striking. That's what I think will look the best for him in this fight. But on the flip side, what we haven't seen from him yet is that he also has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's no slouch on the ground. So the question is, what's it going to look like when these two step in the octagon on Saturday night? I got to be honest, I'm looking at the line on this one. And right now we've got Chris Dawkins as a favorite at minus 190. And I think that is really undervalued. I think he's going to come out there. I think he's going to shine. I think he's going to look great. I think styles make fights. And this is just a horrible matchup for Olenek. I mean, he is getting old. He is a specialist. His striking is ugly. And he's going in there against a guy who's younger than him, bigger than him, stronger than him. And his hands are smooth. They are fast. He knows how to throw combinations. He's got power in both hands. Really accurate. Olenek doesn't have much to offer in the way of defense. right? He kind of just covers up a little bit, tries to come forward, tries to muscle his way through, makes things look ugly. Even if he does end up getting it into the clinch or taking it to the ground, Dawkins is a black belt himself, so I don't see him being completely unexperienced there. I don't see it being much of a problem with him being able to find a way out of that, getting back to the feet. Wouldn't be surprised if this one ends in the first round, kind of similar to what you saw with Walt Harris versus Olenek. Going with Dawkins in this one, going to be his third win in a row. Let me know. What do you guys think? Does he got a future in the heavyweight division? Is he coming up? That striking looks pretty good. Do you think he's going to be able to do anything with it outside of this fight? Or is this just going to end up being another win for Olenek? Does he find out another way to pull out a submission against the guy? Let me know what you guys think.